when I was when I was younger, I played I played football, basketball, and baseball when I was a kid. And I have mm. some funny stories about all of them, and I don't want to get too off track here. But I remember when I was playing baseball, I used to do this thing where like after my full swing through, instead of just letting the bat go, I would like throw it right like almost like frisbee it off the swing and i got like kind of in trouble for that right because like you know kids throwing a metal bat yeah, and i'm a big dude too i'm fucking tall and i was tall when i was a kid too like pretty goddamn tall i didn't have a so growth spurt i was 17 yeah i'm like i'm like 63 right now and i think i like i was pretty young when i started to grow Two. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how else to yeah. say that yeah. without yeah, sounding you. fucking weird. But the point is, is like I was significantly bigger than other kids I was playing with, and I was just throwing a bat. Um, and so my my dad took me to at the time Blockbuster was still a thing and um, sold video games. And he said he took me to like the sports section where like baseball video games were, and he said I'll p- pick out any video game here. I'll rent or buy it for you. Just whatever you do, just watch how the players like swing the bat. Mm. And let it go. Just mm-hmm. use this video game to study. Because he kind of knew me. He knew what would get me into doing it. And so I chose this game called MLB Slugfest. Oh, I think that's, two, that's 2002, 2002 or 2003. And if you're not familiar with what MLB Slugfest is, imagine baseball, but it's like WWE and like, hor- like you can like light the ball on fire and like beat people up and like punch people to steal bases and like hit people with baseball bats. It's just kind of like all out carnage. Mm. In fact, I really wish they would reboot this game because it like I just unlocked this core memory yeah. of fucking MLB Slugfest just thinking about this shit, man. But I just think it's so funny how my dad was like, you need to study this. Like you need to like study this to get better at baseball, son. And then I bought the game where you beat the shit out of people with baseball bats. Dude, I had- my dad was big into like coaching me and stuff for baseball because my dad really loves baseball. The thing is, I don't really think my dad knew how to coach a child. He's coached like, or not coached like professionally or anything, but like he played baseball in college. He loves baseball. He like, we used to play like together all the time when I was in Little League, but I don't think he's ever taught a kid. And like looking back, so I was always trying to like learn how to do like the curveball or the slider or, you know, all the like weird shit. And every time I'd like just I would only be able to throw the ball at one speed. I could throw pretty well as a pitcher or whatever, but and I would always like ask my dad to show me how to do a curveball. And he could throw a mean curveball. And he would just throw it. And his only advice to me ever was curveballs are slower than fastballs. So try to throw it slower. And I'm like, Dad, I'm throwing it like twenty five miles an hour. <laughs> like I can't go slower than this. <laughs> Did I had a, when I was doing Little League, I had a dude um, who I would throw the ball and he would just make it. It was like a 10 year old kid. He would just make a random guess about how fast I was. I was doing it, but I would believe him with like my whole heart. I'd be, he'd yeah. be like, that's 90 miles per hour. I'm like, I can go faster than that, though. And I'd throw it. He'd be like, that was 110. I'm like, dude, that's so fast. I love it. I love being a kid when people would just make shit up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 I had this a bell curve with that where like as a kid, I was like, whoa, I believed yeah. in all of it. Yeah. And then I kind of found out looking back on some of that, that a lot of that shit was lies and I got pissed off. But now that I'm even older than that, I look back on being lied to like that as a kid. And I'm like, that was just fucking fun. Mm-hmm. I wish I could make yeah. shit up like that with the repercussions these days. Yeah. I, I remember, you know, the video game Call of Duty World at War. Oh, of course. Right? Great game. When when that game came out, I was still in school and I, I was I was younger. I don't know how old, but um, Nazi zombies, when that game mode came out, that like kind of changed video games for a bit. And like everyone was playing it. And it was like a secret game mode, too. So you had to like unlock it secretly. <clears throat> this kid at school. Was so wait, is that the one where the, with the coding, the green thing? Do you remember? Black like, Ops? Was, no, they, that, that you think it's. it's yeah, you're thinking of Black Ops with a different zombies mode. You're thinking of Dead Ops Arcade. Now okay. we're getting really in the weeds. Dead Ops Arcade and Black Ops, you had to, like, on the main menu, spam left and right trigger to break out of the chair, go to a terminal, and then enter in codes to get unlock the game. All right. But in, in the in the original World at War, you had to just beat campaign. But it was never a thing that was, like, listed on the menu. Yeah. You had to beat the entire campaign to, like, get that. Anyways, this kid at school was just, like, yeah, you know, like everyone's talking about zombies, and he's like, "Yeah." And if you get to level 100, you have to fight zombie Hitler. 
and it's so oh, hard yeah yeah and i remember being i remember like genuinely believing that yeah. for like years like way longer than it should have taken me and then like i think later on in life i just kind of forgot about it and i was watching like a guy doing a world record run of, of the zombies or whatever and he's at like level 500 something and i'm just watching it and it clicked with me i was like fuck that kid in school lied to me yeah, god yeah. damn it i had and, I had a similar. Oh, oh no! Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, little bitch, dude. You're not actually Andrew Tate. Um, so, uh, well, he's not actually Andrew Tate. Oh, what's this? What the gun number one, dude? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never seen a vegan beat his girlfriend before. Do you think he's specifically Andrew Tate a vegan? Stay- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I did. Yeah. Probably, okay. Uh, when I was, I would play melee, Super Smash Brothers melee. And I would people would tell me how to unlock characters that just did not exist. I was told that if you played the the adventure mode on very hard with one life and you survived without dying one time, you would unlock Mew as a character. That isn't a character you unlock. Yeah, because you couldn't fact check. Yeah, back then. Yeah, and it like, was I remember pre Google world was glorious. Yeah, yeah. I I remember I remember being told as a kid like I was like in third grade. Um, you know, 2002, right? Is when Emerald came out, or like, was that one, uh, one of those, those three or yeah, something like that? Well, it's somewhere out there, yeah. But I remember, so let's see, that I was eight years old, so that's second grade. I remember an eighth grader told me that if you release Groudon and or Kyogre or Rayquaza, that you can catch them in the wild infinitely, like they spawn like regular Pokemon. And, and you just dropped your Pokemon. I remember doing that, and I'd be like, oh shit, I don't. Yeah. I haven't got it anymore. Yep. Yeah, yeah.